Hello again, and welcome to another Game Film Hub Locations. The original capital of the United States, at least for a year anyway. The city that never sleeps, that beautiful Big Apple, New York. So this time around, I want to take things up a notch from our last location video on Los Angeles. If you haven't seen that video, the link is right above, so check it out. I'll be dotting some information throughout the video with some useful facts about NYC, as well as the usual studios roundup, what they're working on, and who they're hiring. However, before we get started, don't forget this is an ongoing series of videos covering locations around the world, wherever game, film, and animation studios are based. So if you want to keep track of the whole series, then be sure to subscribe, hit the bell, and you won't miss a thing as we travel around the world, the digital industries. So, these are the studios in New York and surrounding areas we'll be covering this time around. There's a timestamp, as always, below the video, so if you're short on time, feel free to skip forward or stay with us for the journey. So let's kick off, as we did last time, with the game studios. If you work in film VFX, or that's what you're most interested in, then hit the timestamp and skip forward. Our first game studio is Rockstar New York. Located on Broadway, the Rockstar New York studio was opened in 1998 and is wholly owned by Take-Two Interactive. As well as their New York head office, Rockstar has studios in eight other locations, including Edinburgh, Leeds, Lincoln, London in the UK, San Diego, Toronto, New England and India. Founded by Sam and Dam Hauser, Rockstar's Rage Engine has seen a vast improvement over its last 20 years, from their very first GTA London 1969 title to their latest blockbuster Red Dead Redemption 2, selling over 23 million copies worldwide. There are around 20 open positions right now at Rockstar's NYC studio, including mocap tools developer, senior illustrator and data analyst. Next up is Avalanche Studios, based on Broadway. Originally founded in Stockholm, Sweden in 2003, the NYC studio was open in 2011 and now has around 70 developers on site. Acquired by Nordisk Film in 2018, Avalanche are most well known for the Just Cause franchise and have recently published their latest titles Generation Zero and Rage 2 with ID Software in their Apex game engine. So if you want to join the Avalanche team in New York, you'll need to be a senior technical artist, technical producer or location manager. So let's move on to Private Division, again part of the Take-Two Interactive group and with a name more like Men in Black than Game Studio, Private Division were founded in 2017 to provide a publishing platform for indie studios. Currently working with Obsidian, Panache Digital, V1 Interactive and Squad on titles such as The Outer Worlds, Kerbal Space Program and Ancestors, Private Division seem to have staff spread across Seattle, Las Vegas, Munich, as well as their New York base. In New York, they're looking for a community manager and a media data analyst to join the team. Gameloft, now in their 20th year, and primarily a mobile game development studio, as well as a publisher, have over 5,000 staff globally, with their headquarters in Paris. Based in central Manhattan, their New York office is mostly focused on the advertising and marketing side of the business. With a huge catalogue of titles, Gameloft are a giant in the mobile game space and show no signs of slowing down. And at the time of this video, they're looking to hire an advertising account executive. The fifth studio on our list is Tilting Point. Founded in 2012 and with around 100 staff across NYC and Barcelona in Spain, Tilting Point are focused on free-to-play and the mobile games market. Having published a wide variety of indie games such as Operation New Earth, Star Trek Timelines and Tap Busters, Tilting Point continues to support indie developers as a publishing house. At their office on Fifth Avenue, they're looking to hire a game data scientist and a user acquisition manager. Okay, so before we move on to more studios, let's talk about what it actually costs to live in New York. This is a very rough guide comparing the five boroughs and based loosely on a one bedroom apartment. So starting with Manhattan Island itself, you might expect to pay somewhere in the region of 3,800 a month in most areas. However, there are three areas of the city I'll go back to in a moment where the cost of living in Manhattan may surprise you. 
However, living just outside of Manhattan in locations such as Brooklyn may be a more cost-effective option, with an average one-bedroom apartment costing around $2,500 a month. And in the borough of Queens, right across from Brooklyn and home of Spider-Man, you can expect to pay around $2,000 a month for a similar living space. Whereas in the Bronx area, that figure may drop to around $1,800 a month. However, the more affluent Jersey City area goes up to around $2,600 a month on average. But let's go back to Manhattan Island and look up those three inner city districts I mentioned earlier. The first of these locations is Stytown, a sprawling collection of red brick apartment buildings stretching over 80 acres. Located on First Avenue and between 14th and 23rd Streets, the average price of a one-bedroom apartment is around $2,600 a month. The second location on Manhattan is Hell's Kitchen, located between 34th and 59th Street and 8th Avenue on the Hudson River in the west. The cost of a one-bedroom apartment here can be as low as $1,900 a month. The third location, which may surprise you, is the Theatre District. Many people's classic vision of New York and bound between West 40th Street and West 54th Street and between 6th and 8th Avenues, and with its centre being the iconic Times Square, a one-bedroom apartment here can cost you an average of $2,900 a month if the hustle and bustle of New York life is what you're looking for. And don't forget all of these figures are just a rough guide only, and based at the time of this video being uploaded. So let's move on with the game studios in New York, starting with Fresh Planet, founded in 2009. A small team based on 34th Street and known for their song pop and song pop party mobile browser-based games, they're looking for a Node.js developer to join the team right now. Muse Games, another small indie team based in Koreatown and known for titles like Hamsterdam for mobile and Guns of Icarus for PC and console, are currently looking for a gameplay programmer to join the team. Playdots have around 60 developers at their studio in the trendy meatpacking district and produces simple, challenging dot-based mobile games such as Dots, Two Dots, and yes, you guessed it, Dots & Co. So if you're a senior Unity developer, you should look them up. BrainPop, founded in 1999, are based on West 23rd Street and are focused on e-learning content. Spread across two locations, New York and Tel Aviv, at the New York studio, they are looking to hire a front-end web developer and a processing manager. So the next of our studios in Manhattan is the mighty Take-Two Interactive themselves. Founded back in 1993, an owner and publisher of Rockstar Games, 2K Games, Private Division, Ghost Story Games and Social Point, and publisher of a huge catalogue of award-winning franchises, Take-Two has certainly earned their reputation as one of the greatest publishers of games in the last 25 years. At their New York studio, they're looking to hire a senior data scientist and a senior systems engineer, as well as 20 other positions. Okay, before we move on to our final studio list, let's cover a few facts about New York you might find useful. The population of New York City itself in 2019 is around 8 to 9 million. And if you include the outlying boroughs and the entire metropolitan area, the number jumps up to around 20 million, making the largest populated area in the entire United States. With around 6 million commuters traveling in and out of Manhattan every single day and an estimated 60 million tourists visiting each year, that makes for one very busy city. However, there are places in New York that you can escape from the crowds, such as Central Park's 843 acres of parkland, and even the Hudson River itself. Okay, let's continue with our list of game studios, starting with King, based on Hudson Street, in the Soho area of Manhattan. King was originally founded in Stockholm, Sweden 17 years ago in 2003, and is now a large organization with over 2,600 staff worldwide. Acquired by Activision Blizzard back in 2016, King now has studios in 12 locations. Famous for their Candy Crush Saga, Legend of Solgar and Bubble Witch Saga titles, King now has the Crash Bandicoot games to add to their never-ending list of mobile entertainment. So that wraps up our list of game studios for Manhattan and New York. In future videos, we'll be covering game studios in Troy, Albany and Boston in north of New York State. 
So finally, our shortlist of film and VFX studios in New York, starting with Framestore. Founded in 1986 in London, England, Framestore now has over 2,000 staff across six locations. Consistently creating a high level of content in film, immersive entertainment and advertising across its 34 year history, Framestore's list of features are endless. If you're a matte painter, lighting TD, or just want to work with them in their New York studio, then apply through Game Film Hub. Marvel Entertainment, based on 6th Avenue, and part of the ever-growing Disney group since 2009, are of course most famous for their comic book superhero franchises. With around 1,200 staff across their two studios in Los Angeles and New York, they're currently looking for an audio producer in NYC. Method Studios, established back in 1998, have their headquarters in Santa Monica and have approximately 1,200 staff spread across eight locations. Working in both advertising and feature films, some of Method's recent projects have included Man in Black International, Ford vs Ferrari and Top Gun Maverick. At their NYC studio on West 18th Street, they're currently looking for a production coordinator and a systems administrator. So, that wraps it up for this locations video. A quick mention to some of the studios we didn't get to cover this time around, which we'll feature on our next New York locations video. And don't forget, all the studios featured on this video and more have pages with open jobs on Game Film Hub. So if you're working games or film, or looking to move into the industry, then register free, complete your profile page, and Game Film Hub will match you with jobs automatically. So next time around, in December 2020, we'll have a new host, who will be guiding you through games and film studios in London, UK, and the rest of the location series. So be sure to subscribe, and get notified every time a locations video is uploaded. Thanks for watching. Feel free to drop a note in the comments if you'd like to add a location.